Christmas! It's Christmas Eve finally and it's the last day of Vlogmas. My name's Gemma and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd go back in time a little bit and have a look at some of the vintage toys that I got when I was a child for Christmas. Um, these these toys are mainly from like the late 80s um, and I'm going to show them to you now because some of them I still have. I'm going to start with the most famous Cabbage Patch dolls. Give them all your love. Cabbage Patch kids are each sold separately. Each doll comes with a pretend birth certificate and adoption. Uh, I've got three of these dolls and I've still got them. I think this is the first one that I got. And she's called Baba. That's what I named her as a child. <laughs> so there's Baba. She's got a Snoopy dress on. Which I don't, it's not the original dress she came in. I can't really remember what she came in, to be honest. She's got sort of a tan skin, blue eyes, and then the woolly hair. How you tell that the original Cabbage Patch Kids is by the little signature on her bottom, which says Xavier. He was the man that designed this version of the Cabbage Patch dolls, but I'll go into that in a little bit later. The second doll I have is Toby, which is what I named him. He's a boy. This is his original outfit. Uh, the elastic's gone a bit in his trousers, so they're a bit baggy. He's got a tracksuit on, with, and that is quite an 80s tracksuit, isn't it? Reminds me of what they wear on Stranger Things. Um, and then he's got brown eyes and sort of like a warm brown, the woolly hair. He's quite similar, really. The Baba. But he's got brown eyes, but their heads are sort of a similar sort of moulds. He's also got he's got a green signature on his bottom there. Had one of the baby cabbage patch dolls also. Um <laughs> so cute. This one's called Sally Ann. Look at Sally Ann's head, face. <laughs> Hello. Sally, this is Sally Ann's original baby grow. Had some little, you can tie those in a bow. There we are. And it's like a blue and a green. It's got the Cabbage Patch Kids logo on there. And of course, Sally Ann has also got the signature on her bottom there. They've also got sort some sort of 19, it says 1982, or 1978 to 1982, and they were made by Colco. They were made by Colco and designed by a man called Xavier in 1982, I think they started production, but actually it's come about um, more recently that um, Xavier actually copied these babies from the designs of another lady from designs of a Martha Nelson Thomas. This this lady, um, she crafted these dolls, which are identical to the Cabbage Patch dolls, and I think she called them the Little People. She also made birth certificates, which the Cabbage Patch dolls come with, and um, people adopted them rather than bought them from her. Apparently this Xavier person that um, is the founder of Cabbage Patch Kids, Apparently he bought some of her dolls and he was selling them on for like an extortionate price and she stopped him from doing this and allegedly he said well you know if I can't sell your dolls I'll make a very similar copy and he did and he became a multi-millionaire from these dolls and this poor lady was devastated apparently because um, he'd sort of cheapened her brand. I'll put in a little picture of the original Cabbage Patch Kids or Little People as they were called from Martha. So there's the three of those, my original Cabbage Patch Kids from the 80s. They're not, I mean, they're well loved and in plague of condition. Apparently they get some sort of marking on their heads, which mine aren't too bad actually. The next thing I have, which are original, are My Little Ponies. These are... Hello. 
little pony. I would have thought these were probably late 80s. It's the only one I have left. I had loads of these. I think she was called Princess Am Amethyst. She's got quite a fancy one. I can't find any of the others, but I had loads of the uh, play sets. I had the Dream Castle and uh, like a little stable play set. I'll put in a little picture of those there. Um, it's a shame that I didn't keep some of these because I really like these original ponies. They're enough, they don't look anything like the ones you can get now, as you can tell. They're more chunky. Well, I think they've got nicer faces. So that's her. Also from the ponies, I've still got a Megan. She was sort of the girl pony. These days they have sort of these hybrids of ponies and girls that are mixed together. But they didn't then, they just had this girl. The last thing I've got to show you are these palm puppies. These are one of my favourite toys I had as a child. Those lonely palm puppies really need to be rescued. Palm puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy palm behind you. You need a name. I'll call you Freckles. Lots of pound puppies need your love. Oscar, meet Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share it all, a cuddling, caring puppy. I also had loads of these and I've still got some. I just don't know where I packed them away to. But um, this one, he's called, he's a pound puppy. Um, I've had him since I was about seven, six or seven. And he's always been around. He's very, <laughs> he's a bit battered, bless him. All the pound puppies had this little mark in there. It said PP. Then here's a little bit one that's in a little bit more better condition. They brought out some pastel puppies, and you can see the PP a bit better. This one's in a little bit better condition. As you can see, the eyes aren't marked, only a little bit scratched. Here's the pink one. These toys are made by Tonka in the early 80s to the late 80s and they were created by somebody called Mike Bowling and they had the tagline of lovable huggable there was also movies and cartoon spin-offs and things like that I think they brought them back out a few times over the you know recent years but I don't think they've ever been as popular as they were there was also a cat line but I can't remember what they were called so there's all the vintage toys I've got to show you today. I hope you all have a brilliant Christmas. Thanks so much for watching my Vlogmas. Um, and thank you for all the new subscribers that have come along for the journey. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my videos. I'll be posting some more towards the end of December, but not every day as I have been. It'd be nice to have a rest now, actually, from making videos. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas Eve and you get everything you wish for tomorrow on Christmas Day. Bye-bye and thanks for watching. Merry Christmas!